God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela Ojaga bringing to you a word from the Lord, a revelation for you today. If it's your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube, and also leave me a comment down below if you believe this word is for you. Amen. Today, I'm bringing to you a word about somebody missing you. The Lord has blessed me with a vision. And I had a vision of two people texting. I saw how one person told the other person, Thomas misses you. And that's the vision that the Lord has given me. So I had to sit with the Holy Spirit for a moment and ask, why did you use the name Thomas? Thomas was one of the 12 disciples in the Bible who is known as Doubting Thomas. So the Holy Spirit ministered me and said, tell my people that there are other people out there that doubted you that are now currently missing you, okay? Missing you, they are doubting why they let you go they're questioning right why they let you go they're questioning why they doubted you i feel like as i say this maybe someone's going to come to your mind like always this is not a call to reach out to them but something that a pastor taught me is that the bible says the lord prepares a table for you in the presence of your enemies so sometimes god will bring these revelations to us just so that we can know that that table has been prepared just so just so that we can know that he did something about the abuse that you endured about the bullying about the rejection that you went through not for you to reach out to them and say oh i miss you too no but just for you to know that hey Okay, I was faithful to my promise. I was faithful to my word. And now the tables have turned. Maybe you were the person that used to miss them and used to want them in their life. And God is saying, I've removed that from your heart. And now they are missing you because now their eyes have been opened. The Bible says that that's exactly what happened to Thomas, y'all. It's so interesting how the Holy Spirit speaks to us sometimes, right? The Bible says that at first, Thomas doubted. That's why he was called Doubting Thomas. He doubted the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But later, he confessed, right? My Lord and my God. Once he was seeing the wounds left over at the after the crucifixion. So again, God is not saying that we're like Jesus or anything like that. Always remember in our visions, or at least for me, God uses symbolism for me to understand what he's trying to tell me. So God is using this persona from the Bible for me to understand that the same way Thomas doubted and then he came to his senses, people that are missing you are going through that same transformation. They're going through that same uh, change, that process, that at first they doubted you, they didn't believe in you, but now they are aware like, oh, this was somebody great. This was somebody that I could have loved, that I could have had a future with. This was a good friend. This was a good business partner, whatever that might be for you. Now they understand that they don't have access to you, so they are missing you, okay? This is a call for you to continue to be great, for you to continue to focus, for you to continue to be on your word, for you to not look back, but for you to know that the table has been prepared okay in the presence of your enemies that God was faithful and that you could continue knowing that you don't have to take no revenge or ask God are you going to do anything about it God has done it okay continue to be a blessing to yourself and to those around you okay praise the Lord for this word God bless you once again don't forget to like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel check out my Instagram Danielo Jaga we're also on Facebook on TikTok all of that is going to be in the description of this video make sure to check out my website danielaojaga.org for coaching services and other things available for you I'll see you guys next time take care